What's going on guys? This is a quick video on how to wire your RC radio to your flight controller of your quadcopter. Um, this is going to be a basic video just to give you an idea of how to wire these two up and basically what the channels on your radio means or what it's supposed to do when you move the sticks. So here we go. First off for your basic quadcopter you need five channels. Okay, so you're gonna need one, one, two, three, four, five, at least. Okay, if you wanna do some more um, additional stuff that your quadcopter can do, you're gonna have to add some more channels on there, but the basic is five channels, all right? And on the flight controller here, we have the NASA, and you can see it has an A, an E, a T, an R, and a U. Okay, those are the minimum channels that you are going to be uh, working with as far as connections to your radio. There's some additional stuff on here. Again, that's not needed to fly the quadcopter, but if you add extra stuff to it, you're going to need those. All right. So, first off, this is um, on my radio. I'm using the FR Sky or Turnigy or Fly Sky, other generic stuff out there, but. Uh, your radio might be a little bit different as far as the way the channels are set up. Mine, number one channel is the, uh, I believe is the aileron, okay? That means if your uh, helicopter or quadcopter is facing this way, that controls the, um, the roll back and forth, okay, left to right. Number two is the elevator. That means it's going to pitch forward or pitch backwards. Number three, that would be the rudder okay that means your quadcopter it controls the yaw turn left to right and the last well not the last but second to last is number four which would be the throttle that means you know how much power you're giving your motors that way it can go up or down and the fifth channel would be the uh, flight mode control that way you could control your flight controller on what flight mode it's going to be on, whether it be acro mode, um, GPS mode, or you know other modes that it has. Okay. And on the NASA, so the first channel on the NASA is A. That means that's the aileron. So that would go. Let's hook this up. And you got to be careful also. On my radio, you can see here it has some symbols. The two symbols that you need to pay attention to is the plus and the minus. That means that's the positive and the negative. You want to make sure you don't get those two crossed because you might fry something. So on this cable here, you have a red in the middle, a brown in the bottom, and an orange on the top. Sometimes the orange is a white, okay? But if it's white or orange, that means that's your signal cable. Red is always going to be positive and black or brown is going to be negative. So pay attention to that when you're plugging those in. So like I said, we're going to go from one. So my positive is in the middle and ground is in the bottom. So I'm plugging that in correctly. So one on my radio is the aileron. So that means it's going to go to the A on the NASA. And as far as your flight controller goes, depending on what you're using, you also got to be careful on which pin is positive and which pin is negative. On this one, it has a little diagram here in the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. It tells you exactly where the positive is. On this one, it's in the middle and negative is on the bottom. So we're going to do it this way. Actually, negative is on the top. All right. So that's your aileron channel to your aileron on your flight controller. Next one would be the elevator. And again, when you plug these things in, you got to be careful with the pins. And that's your E for elevator. Next one is aileron, elevator, rudder. Let's see. Plugs in there. This one goes like so. So that's three channels so far. Next would be your th 
throttle, which is channel four on my radio. Like I said, your radio, if you're using a different one, it might be different, but you just gotta make sure you know which channels are which, and it's pretty much exactly the same. You're just gonna be uh, on different channels as far as your throttle and aileron and elevator. You gotta be careful you don't break the pins. And then the last one is channel five. That would be your, it's gonna be a spare channel on your radio that you can assign it to a toggle switch or something that you can um, switch between flight modes on your flight controller. And again, on the NASA, that's uh, the U symbol. So that's it guys, that's how easy it is to uh, wire these things up. Um, you would have to set up your NASA on your computer and the radio pretty much. Uh, if you set it on helicopter, you won't have to do um, a lot of uh, setting up and it's pretty much good to go. So if you guys have any questions, uh, if this didn't make any sense, I don't know how it wouldn't make any sense because it's pretty simple. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and if this was helpful, uh, subscribe and like for more videos. If you have any suggestions as far as if you're into RC or FPV or anything like that that you have any questions that you would want me to make a video of, um, leave me a comment down below. You know, I know when I started in this hobby that I had a lot of questions and I had to go to multiple sites and videos just to get that one answer. So if I could help you out when you're starting off, let me know. Alright guys, thank you. Bye bye.